It was a day after Father's Day on June 16th, 2003. It was a day I will never forget. Alan went in for a routine procedure. They thought he had an idiopathic condition. The doctor came out and said, are you alone? And knew enough to know that was gonna be, those were words that were gonna change my life. He said, I believe your husband has mesothelioma. And I looked at him and I said, what is that? He said, it's a kind of cancer. My dad had six tumors the size of grapefruits that protruded, protruded through his ribs, actually physically breaking his ribs as these things grew. It wasn't until the doctor, the surgeon, came to Alan and said, were you ever exposed to asbestos, did we piece this together with a handwritten mesothelioma diagnosis on a tissue. I typed it in that night and I learned that it is an asbestos caused cancer. Most patients have six months to 12 months to live and they are deadly terminal aggressive diseases. Well asbestos first of all is a natural occurring mineral. It's found in the earth, it's mined and it's used because of its properties of insulation and strong resistance to heat. If asbestos is breathed in to our lungs, that's when we suffer disease. Asbestos is still out there. It's not been banned in the United States as it has been in 40 other countries around the world. There are 30 million homes across the United States, homes, schools, offices, hospitals, that have contaminated, are contaminated with asbestos. Public policy is a very slow pace, and we have to gently remind our Congress and our administration about the problems that affect us and our home. Since my retirement, I've been devoting my time to the Asbestos Disease Awareness Organization. And it is that organization that I'd like to request of each and every one of you that are interested in preventing asbestos-related diseases to either donate your time or donate some part of what you can give to our organization We'd like to invite you to visit our website, learn more about asbestos, prevent exposure. We also need donations to fund our educational efforts, and we also need volunteers to work nationally and internationally to carry the torch of asbestos awareness around the world until we have eliminated all asbestos-caused diseases. Thank you. Don't let us get sick. Don't let us get old. Don't let us get stupid or right. Just make us be brave. Make us play nice. Let us be together tonight. Yeah, yeah.